Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. We begin this half hour with a potential key to America's clean energy future, found at the site of past environmental disasters. California's Salton Sea is a man-made lake created by accident in the early 20th century. Over the decades, it's fallen victim to drought and pollution, and its surrounding community has suffered economically from those environmental issues. But as John Blackstone shows us, the region could help meet the growing demand for electric vehicles. In California's Imperial Valley, the Salton Sea, the state's largest lake, has been shrinking for years, leaving a toxic, dusty shoreline. But now there's growing confidence the arid land around the Salton Sea holds a vast supply of lithium. It's a very significant sort of what we call a world-class lithium resource. Geologist Pat Dobson led a recent federal study of Salton Sea lithium reserves. And that represents enough lithium to manufacture hundreds of millions of EV batteries. So it's a huge potential resource. The move to electric vehicles has created a worldwide search for lithium to make batteries. But lithium around the Salton Sea has been no secret. And we've known that for, for, for decades. But what didn't happen before is there was not a great demand for lithium. For 40 years, lithium has been treated as an unwanted byproduct by geothermal power plants in the area. The plants produce electricity by tapping superheated fluid called brine a mile beneath the Earth's surface. The brine produces steam and then is injected back into the Earth. Lithium is one of the minerals in the brine. For decades, we've been pulling lithium out of the ground and then putting it back. And so what we're looking at now is the opportunity to recover that lithium from the geothermal brine and utilize it for making batteries. And that is bringing hope to Imperial Valley where unemployment is high, wages are low, and agriculture is the dominant industry. This is something big for the valley, you know what I mean? Because we never really have nothing of our own, so. Johnny Haywood is one of those in a night class at Imperial Valley College, training mature students for jobs in the lithium industry. Some here, like David Maldato, are farm workers. We work in the fields in the daytime? In the daytime and at night I come to school. Sammy Gonzalez and his father Jose both worked in the fields and are now looking for something better. It's a great opportunity. It's a, yeah, it's a great opportunity, Jesus, right? And I, I'm so happy because we are studying Together. And I don't want uh, any industry to say we have to bring outside people because there's not a, a ready workforce in Imperial County. Efren Silva, dean at Imperial Valley College, created the training program for lithium industry jobs. We hope and expect that there will be other industries joining the lithium industry, such as battery manufacturing. The Imperial Valley dreams of becoming Lithium Valley, but the Salton Sea is a reminder of lost opportunities here. If you go back to a map of California in 1880, there is no Salton Sea in the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea was an accident created in 1905 when a levee broke and water from the Colorado River poured into the valley. The lake brought new life to the desert. An idea that has intrigued and attracted and literally thrilled thousands upon thousands of men, women and children. In the 1950s, it became a popular tourist destination. But that faded over the years as the lake became polluted with agricultural runoff and grew twice as salty as the Pacific Ocean. As a lake in the desert, the Salton Sea is important to wildlife, particularly birds on the Pacific Flyway, which is why in the 1990s, the local congressman campaigned vigorously to save the Salton Sea. The congressman was Sonny Bono. Yes, that. Sonny Bono. Sonny and Cher's popularity in the 1960s boosted Bono's political profile when he ran for Congress in 1994. His efforts helped prompt the Salton Sea Restoration Act, but the act didn't become law until months after Bono died in a skiing accident in 1998. Although the act directed the government to reclaim the Salton Sea, it has continued to shrink as water is diverted from the Imperial Valley to cities in the San Diego area. But now lithium could change everything. This is the magic? This is, this is where the magic happens in terms of lithium extractions. David Deke is with Energy Source Minerals, one of the companies developing methods for collecting lithium from geothermal brine. So each of these columns will contain absorbent that absorbs lithium into it. This demonstration unit is in a shipping container. But the company is planning a facility that will be the size of a thousand shipping containers. So you're, you're confident yeah. this is going to work a thousand times bigger. Exactly. It, it, highly confident. 
Yeah. So optimistically, the first commercially available lithium from your plant is at least two years away? I would say that, yes, yeah. If we close on financing and start construction immediately thereafter, we'll be in production and delivering to customers by uh, 2026. In a region that has known plenty of hard times, there's a chance this time will be different. For CBS Saturday Morning, John Blackstone, Imperial Valley, California. The potential to fuel hundreds of millions of EV batteries. Un Believable. I didn't know anything about the salt and sea, and I'm really glad we did that. Yeah, and just an interesting twist that it w was Sonny Bono yeah. who made such a difference right? while in office. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs>